I'm Haley Taylor, and you're listening to The Rough Draft Diaries. This week on The Rough Draft Diaries, we are yet again talking to another individual whose work you may see all over the city. Uh, Yeah, Uh, my name is Bradley Scherzer, and I am in Toledo. I'm a uh, fine artist, you know, a public artist, and uh, in Fremont, Ohio, I'm a high school art teacher. Somewhere in there is is whatever title uh, best fits me. A full, complete title for Brad is difficult to come by because he has done and still continues to do so many different things within the community. He studied painting and portraiture at Bowling Green University, became an art teacher, started an art gallery in East Toledo with a few friends, is an art instructor at Yaw, Young Artist at Work at the Arts Commission, and is heavily involved in teaching and creating murals that pop up around the city. I don't know, that's, that's an art in itself, is, is navigating all of those kind of projects and opportunities. And I got a lot of those skills there. And so I uh, really started experimenting maybe in the past few years with creating interactive art and um, creating things that people could touch that would teach them something that would be a memorable experience. And a lot of my inspiration in that comes from travel because we don't, we at the time certainly didn't see a lot of that thing happening here in Toledo, but we do now. And and I've been lucky to be a part of that. Brad truly has been a part of the genesis of the art scene in Toledo. He and I remember a time when few people spent their weekends in the city, but things started to change just around the time that Brad graduated from university. This is around 2010. When it came close to graduation, I uh, saw an article in a paper about this this art gallery um, called Beaux Arts, and uh, they had an opening that I believe at the time was a Yusuf Latif opening, and I just you know thought I'd check it out. Both the story of Beaux-Arts and Yusuf Latif have been featured in the Rough Draft Diaries previously, so make sure to check out those episodes. But in short, it was exactly as Brad stated, an art gallery that was locally owned, featuring the work of local artists. And that was my first realization that there was an arts community in, in downtown Toledo, or perhaps maybe that was, you know, just the beginning of the arts community. Uh, some some friends of ours and, and new friends uh, started a place called Launchpad, which was a gallery on Jefferson. There were you know a few a few other spots. Of course, Twenty North was was operating. The Art Supply Depot moved in. Artomatics were happening. The art loops of their early origin really came and, and started surrounding themselves with it. So. It was really, it was really a fantastic time. We were all attending each other's stuff. We were talking deeply about art. A lot of artists that were coming out of the colleges, and a lot of people that had been in the community creating art, but not really having opportunities to show it locally, were being given those opportunities, and that was that was really cool. Now, some of those events and spaces are still continuing on today, but as you may have noticed from Brad's use of the past tense. Some of those institutions are no longer around. As time moves on, we enter into a new season. And the art scene in Toledo changed with the times. And and part of that is like, you know, it's it's tough to make money in art in in a city like this. And especially for young people that did not have perhaps like the strongest business plans or or ways to seek, uh, you know, funding you know, on, online or anything like that to extend your business. A lot of it, I, I would credit to burnout. You know, you can only put so much time and energy into to those things before you have to accept some of the other opportunities that would pull you away. So a lot of people left for, for bigger jobs. So that was, I, I would say, the biggest thing. And it happened quite simultaneously. But Brad has stayed in the city growing and changing with the ever-evolving art scene, with new people arriving and old friends taking their leave. You can still find him creating murals, teaching his high school students in Fremont, and, as mentioned earlier, adapting to each new season that Toledo brings, with, of course, the support of the local art community. I've been stepping into a new realm of art, creating a lot more interactive things and larger scale than I've ever gone before 
I've been supported in in funding and project calls. Those things have really, really helped me out because I'm, you know, foraying into something new, but I'm being supported in doing so. The Arts Commission and, and the grants that they've offered and the opportunities that they've offered have allowed me to build up my arts practice to a point that I'm able to take what I'm doing outside of Toledo and apply to international arts exhibitions and festivals and get into them and be paid for that work and be, you know, treated as equally to people that are, um, you know, full-time artists and and, uh, able to spend, you know, a, a long time on this and they're in bigger cities with perhaps more resources that they have access to. Yeah, there's there's constant work ahead. There's always there's always projects. Taking the breaks is, is perhaps the hardest part. I'm Haley Taylor and thanks for listening to this episode of the Rough Draft Diaries.